Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel PSON at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamotho and uh, in this video I want us to discuss uh, topic number six and a subtopic called differentiating trigonometric functions uh, we will be looking at example 14 We'll be looking at example 14 which says and we are told before example 14 that you can combine all the uh, aforementioned or the all the rules that we have learned so far uh, and apply them to trigonometric function to obtain standard results and just to recap we have understood the chain rule we have understood, we have learned the chain rule. We have learned the chain rule. And, and of course, chain rule talks of uh, uh, the, 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 the chain rule is what we, one of the rules that we have learned. And um, we have also learned the product rule. We have learned the product rule. And we have learned the, the, the quotient. We have learned about the quotient rule. Uh, just to remind ourselves, um, it is important to exactly understand what we have talked about so far. And among the three rules that we have done, uh, chain rule, chain rule is simply talking about um, if you have two functions of x and uh, y and x is not directly related, you talk about dy dx to be equals to dy du times du dx. That is part of the chain rule and can be used, of course, in different formats. We have talked about the product rule, and all of us know that the product rule is uh, given by if you have something, uh, if you have y is equals to uv, then dy dx is equals to is given by u dv dx uh, plus v du dx it is important to, to remind ourselves of the product rule as well we have learned about the question rule and in this one we've said if you have y is equal to u v then dy dx is always given by the denominator v uh, multiplied by du dx minus the numerator u multiplied by dv dx everything over v squared all those rules <coughs> we remember them now in example 14 in example 14 uh, I want as we look at the question at hand and we're going to say if if y is equals to the tangent of x then find dy dx we need to realize which rule here are we going to use earlier on we have not been taught or we have not learned direct derivative of the tangent of x incidentally we have learned the derivative of sine x as well as the derivative of cosine x we have even gone further to derive to show how they come about so right turn x right turn x in the form of y is equals to sine x over the cosine of x so definitely what we are having now is a fraction and of course within this fraction um, 
yes we could take the cosine of x up there and use the chain rule um, but it is perfectly suitable to use the quotient rule where we have the u is the sine of x and in this case du dx is simply the cosine of x at the same time uh, v uh, v is the cosine of x and the derivative of the cosine of x dv dx is negative sine of x you can visit my videos to uh, to verify this on differentiating trigonometric ratios now um, at that particular point we can apply we can say uh, using uh, using <coughs> quotient rule which is over there using the quotient rule which is the third one we have uh, using the qu the quotient rule we have um, what is our v our v is the cosine of x dy dx is v v du dx v is the cosine of x du dx is the cosine of x minus u which is the sine of x uh, dv dx uh, minus the sine of x everything over the denominator squared which is the cosine of x squared at that point we can already see that our dy dx is going to be the cosine squared of x uh, sine x uh, sine x times minus sine x is minus sine x squared so minus negative sine x squared becomes plus sine x squared or sine squared x everything over the cosine squared of x uh, by now everybody knows the numerator gives us one because this is the very primary trigonometric identity cos squared x plus sine squared x is one and we have one over the cosine squared of x and all of us now know one over the cosine squared the so cosine of x is simply the sec of x so at that particular point one over the cosine squared of x is simply the sec squared of x and we have all the confidence to say that um, if y is equals to tan x then dy dx is equals to the sec squared of x and that is it so another another differential very important differential uh, we have been able to explain so of course make sure you make follow up go to my youtube channel again um subscribe and of course share and like thank you